back. Hi friends, Katie here from Live It Well Nutrition and today we're talking about constipation. Most women don't realize that when you first become pregnant, your intestines physically relax and expand, making it harder to have a bowel movement. This happens because of a few reasons. A hormone called relaxin is released within a pregnant woman's body that has a goal of relaxing and softening muscles, ligaments, etc. It's pleasant. <laughs> and this is for the purpose of birth preparation. The other more immediate reason a woman's intestines expand is to increase a mother's nutrient uptake, sending more and more to her baby. Because the intestines expand, the food moves slower and sits longer during digestion. It hangs around so your body can absorb every little bit of nutrients from your food. Unfortunately though, this also tends to cause bloating, gas, and a bump that is really just a backup of undigested food. If you've ever wondered why you have a total baby bump one minute and then a completely flat stomach the next, that's why. <laughs> Relaxed intestines. Sounds uncomfortable, right? <laughs> when food digests too slowly, it begins to ferment inside our guts, which is the cause for the gas and hence the bloating. Fast digesting fruits get stuck behind the super sluggish meats and other proteins that take longer to digest. Basically, it's like one big traffic jam on the inside and the fumes are lethal. When I was two months pregnant, I remember vividly feeling bloated and uncomfortable towards the end of the day because the day's worth of food had started to build up inside. I was used to having regular bowel movements multiple times throughout the day, pre-conception. But having been in my first trimester and traveling at the time, I was now noticing some discomfort. Luckily, not flatulence, but a heck of a lot of bloating. This is when I made a few changes and corrected the issue right away. Yes, I was on vacation. And yes, I was surrounded by beautiful French food but I still got a taste of everything because of these soon to be mentioned tricks, which will help you out too, if you're in your first trimester or constipated nonetheless. I drank lots of water. Hydration helps with peristalsis, which is the involuntary contractions of your intestines, as well as literally moving the food and having softer bowel movements. You will never hear me recommending coffee during pregnancy because there are simply no benefits while it contributes to deficiencies and especially constipation. I realize that some professionals say one cup per day is okay, but I disagree. Don't worry, I am more lenient when the client is not pregnant. I had lots of raw fruit every single morning. This increases fiber intake as well as your water intake. Most importantly though, raw fruit has active enzymes that help digest and break it down. These enzymes literally lighten the workload of your digestive system. This in large prevents gas and bloating. I ate my greens raw. Yep, that means salads, ladies. <laughs> This was a bit of a bummer when I, on vacation, had to pick a salad over some delicious French meal. But luckily, French salads are also supreme. Honestly though, the discomfort of having your food build up all day until you have the bowel movements prevents you from even wanting heavy meals anyway. So salads were pretty pleasing come lunch or dinner time. Take a time to go and just sit there until it happens. This also creates a routine for your body. I chose the evening because I had the privacy of my hotel room and a full stomach. Trust me, when you're pregnant, there's a lot about you that becomes common knowledge. So don't be shy. Position, position. Raising your knees closer to your torso helps with a bowel movement by strengthening or unpinching the rectum and relaxing the puborectalis muscle. Setting your feet on a stool 
while you sit will achieve this or simply point your toes so that you have ballerina feet while you sit. This raises your knees higher and mimics a squatting position. Also, twisting from one side to the other, in a way, massages the intestines and gets things going. I hope this helps any women who are experiencing some bowel discomfort during their first trimester. It doesn't need to be a challenge. Take these steps and you'll feel much more comfortable very soon. This is Katie from Live It Well Nutrition. Live it well because you only live once.